So um, some of you remarked how quiet things were and there were no people around. I was out early yesterday, so I missed most of the people. But in general, yeah, it is kind of quiet. Let's, uh, let's just go for a walk today. Let's take you through the park and then we'll go down the street and we'll go find some lunch. My, uh, <laughs> my plan for dim sum has failed because the dim sum restaurant was packed. Packed. So, say la vie. Guess we'll have to find something else to eat. It is a pretty park. It's kind of warm today. I've got two jackets on and I don't, I definitely don't need two jackets. So we'll unzip one of them. It's a statue of some guy down here. Go take a look at it. People walking their dogs, walking their kids. Oh, there's the uh, library I mentioned over there. And here is a statue of, don't know, L-I-N-N-E. I'll look it up later. <laughs> Lots of flowers out. Okay, let's make our way down the street. I think the U.S. Embassy is around here somewhere. I think it's near this park. I wonder how many decades ago they built this park to have the trees this tall lining the sidewalks. Definitely some foresight in planning. <laughs> Playgrounds. So makes sense. Well, that's the Thai embassy up there, Thailand. There's a lot of embassies around this park. And that is that Latvia over there? Flag looks like Latvia. Could be Poland. Oh. Street hockey. Uh, let's go down here. The best sidewalk is down the middle of the road. Yep. It's 
So we're going to take this a few blocks. Then we'll cut down, try to find some food. Could always get a burger, but I don't really feel like a burger today. <laughs> Now, if those of you who remember my trip the last time, I kept talking about uh, the 7-Eleven that was over here. I had this in, very, very beautiful woman working at 7-Eleven. I was like, if you came to the U.S., they'd rip you out of the 7-Eleven and make you a model. But here, well, you're just the 7-Eleven worker. Hmm. So... I do have an eventual goal today, and that's a museum, the Voss Museum, which is a 17th century Navy ship that was uh, pulled out of the sea. What is that? It's a Pepsi Coke machine. <laughs> it's kind of funky. I was originally going to go to a soccer game today. There's a football game, one of the professional clubs in town, but I just, I'm just wasted and tired. I guess we could go on the subway. Maybe we'll take the subway back. Subways are pretty amazing. Looking. Oh, there's a fountain down there. You want to see some of the houses? Maybe I should get a pizza. Now, while all the signs you see are, of course, in Swedish, about 80% of Swedes do speak English. Um, people are asking me how I'm surviving. I just say hello. <laughs> and they immediately switch into English. Uh, the English proficiency here is very good. Very, very good. Um, you will have no problems. Well, probably not if you come into a place like Stockholm. Now, the farther north you go, it drops off, but you should be all right. <laughs> There's a dog in the window. That dog, see him? He's just watching people. Oh, there's a subway station right over there. Ah, let's just keep walking, yeah. There's a bunch of restaurants down that street. Now, it's kind of more of a neighborhood area over here. Well, there are a lot of restaurants, but if I go downtown to the main walking area, then there'll be ten times as many people. 
out shopping and dining and whatnot. I'll probably be there later. It is definitely warm wearing a hoodie and a jacket. These folks are just wearing one thing and they're fine. Of course, they're Swedes. So. The place looks good. Pedestrian right of way. Property agent. There's a church down there. Can you see it? The end of the road? It's a big cathedral. I think I know where that is. But I'm just going to this fountain. Because I've been to that cathedral last time. So we want to explore something new. I think that's a school over there. There's a soccer field out back. Playground. Let's see what the sign says. It's a gymnasium. So it's not technically a school, I guess it's a public gymnasium kind of building. August Blanche. So there's little bits of art all along the path when I'm walking. Pretty much every block there's been some sort of artwork. This is a circle. It's in a traffic circle. Quite, quite pretty. Let's go into the circle. Check out this fountain. And over there, it looks like there's a market. Ooh. 
Chad's gonna take a picture. <sighs> okay. Mm, should we go that way? Maybe. There's a subway station there. I can jump in the subway. But uh, it looks like there's still a walkway this direction. Oh, it's a parking lot. <laughs> oh, well. I kind of think this is the way to go. Just, I don't know why. Maybe I should, like, actually pull out my phone. That would be cheating, wouldn't it? When you're out for a wander to look at a map. Yeah, that is a parking lot down the middle. What a waste. All right, we'll walk on the sidewalk for a bit. These are pretty. Yeah, I think this is where I want to be. So last night by my hotel, there were a bunch of people out at clubs and whatnot. Hundreds of young people going to the clubs. I was sleeping, but my colleagues, they went out. They said it was crazy. Like one in the morning, it's like hundreds of people out. Oh. I think this is the History Museum. Vikings. Oh, we're going to a different museum. It looks pretty cool, though. History, economics.
I think there's a bridge up ahead. It's, um... I'm going to cut across it a bit. There's that purple tree again. I just sort of realized I haven't had lunch. Maybe we should get some food. Eh. Whatever. So I think this is an island up ahead. I'm gonna have to take a bridge onto the island. Yeah, did you garden? Did you garden island or something? Something like that. It was on that painting. And I think there's a tram up here. Oh, I should have just got a scooter. You know what? Maybe we should scooter on the way back. Okay, where do we cross? Hmm. Over here. There's a horse. Horse. Ah, look at that place. Oh, there is a tram coming. That's why all the lights are blinking. Okay, let's go out onto this island, yeah? Wow, look at that place. Oh, paddle boats and canoes and kayaks. That's a pretty big museum. There's a park over there. It's kind of cool. Oh, this is what we need, the Vasa, Vasa Museum, Museum of Rex. I'm going to the Vasa Museum. Oh, this other museum, Nordska Museum. It's pretty impressive. The Royal National City Park. 
Oh wow, the tulips are still out here. This is like it was in the U.S. a month ago. Oh, another tram coming. Grand Chicken. Is that Burger King? No, it's Max, which is this uh, fast food restaurant that's kind of like an American Burger King, but with like everybody orders on a computer. Ninja Garden, and we're out. Going to the museum. There's a gallery. The big Gustav Rundling Rundelstadt. There's a circus. Biological Museum, the Nordsk Museum, the Vasa Museum, that's where we're headed, that's right down here. Oh, I see it, it's just over there behind this Nordsk Museum. Nordisk Museum. Museum of Rex. <laughs> it's kind of a weird museum. Viking something? Oh, let's figure it out. Little Viking live. Ah, I think we have found the ship museum. Now inside here is a 17th century warship that sank pretty much on its maiden voyage. And they dredged it up hundreds of years later and restored it. So it's pretty much the only fully intact 17th century sailing vessel in the world. Oh, well, there's that museum again. It's pretty, isn't it? find our way in. That was a good exit. Open. Open the day 10 to 5. Entree. That's good. Tickets. Gift shops open. Hi, just one. Absolutely, 190, please. There we go. Yep. Please sign this for me. Thank you. And here's the ticket. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. To the museum. See, you just say hello and you know you're an American or an English speaker. Wow. Okay, guys, you ready? Behind this door. 
Holy cow. That's huge. Guys, because it's dark, I think they have to protect the ship. I think I should pull out my other camera. So let me pull that out for a second. There's the whole ship. And back we go. Did you see the intricate woodwork up there? There was like people. Yeah. There's like people in there. On the side, some have fallen off. But it's been under sea for so long. Oh wow. There's an intricate design in that as well. People and animals carved in. I don't think we can go in. These are the gun ports. They used to stick out the cannon. gun deck. I think there was about 30 cannons. Was, this was a 60 cannons total. 30 cannons on the lower gun deck and 30 cannons on the upper gun deck. There were lions on the sides painted. This one. It's really dark inside. Let me see if I can show you what's inside. It's pretty dark down here so I had to switch cameras. August 10th, 1628 is when the ship went down. They took, oh weird, they found the skulls of the sailors and they've recreated what they looked like based on the, the skulls, the ethnic patterns and whatnot. Philippe, he was found in the helm. Philippe was 30 years old, short, and slight build. He was found in the helm and was certainly the steersman. His teeth did not be properly, giving his jaw an odd shape. He's wearing a low-collar jacket with glass buttons, typical of those who were on the ship. Oh, that's a woman. She was... This is one of... Oh, they don't have her face, I'm sorry. There were two women on board. They were both showed signs of malnourishment. She was about 25, and it's she's in a different part. Oh, here's this skeletal remains. Here's the skeletal remains of some of the crew of the Vasa. Let's go to the aft. Captain's quarters would have been in the back, in the officers. I don't remember my sailing ships. More intricate carvings on the side. These are some of what the carvings would look like when they were properly painted. Let's, uh, I think there's an upper level. Let's go to the upper level. Oh, that's a restaurant. Oh, well, here's the back. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Zoom 
out a bit on this one. So this ship had a draft of 4.8 meters, which was 16 feet. So all but the lower 16 feet of this was uh, above water. I think we need to go upstairs. We gotta find the staircase. Oh, we can go downstairs. You guys want? To, let's go down first. Yes, that's we're here. Put the rigging's back. I don't think that's the full mast, though. They must have had to cut it down to fit it in here. that old video game wooden ships and iron men <laughs> i'm dating myself by my video game knowledge it's an old sailing ship so it's held up by these big metal things still restoring it. It's not finished yet. I guess it's probably going to be a work in progress for decades. I wonder if any ships like this are sitting at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. Freeze-dried. Well, this is how they restored it. the oak. This is one of the lions that was eroded. The nails, oh, the silt of the harbor protected them. This was, these are the sails. They actually found the sails. I'm trying to restore those. There's a cannonball. to keep it wet for a large it, wow the vasa was underwater for 333 years in the mud and clay 5,000 objects were recovered and had to be rebuilt That was a lot of labor to just flip over, basically. <laughs> There's some more reconstructions down here. I'm sorry. Uh, Johan was 40 years old. He had a limp. He had a crushed foot. It probably gave him a limp. Gustav, 40 years old. But they don't know much about him because there was no, no identifying marks or anything near him, like uh, his uniform or anything like that. In the back here. Okay, let's go over here. Well, this must have been the shipyards where the Vasa was built. Stockholm's shipyard, 1627. some sort.
Let's go back up this way. I want to go upstairs. I haven't figured out how to get up there yet. So this is about how, how they rescued the ship. Yeah. Salvaging the boss. <laughs> Oh, wow. In 1959, the Neptune Salvage Company, it was 100 feet down, 32 meters down. No, 1961. Hmm. So it was brought out in 1961. By a bunch of ships. So it took a couple years to prepare the vessel to lift it. Oh, cool. It's over here. These must be all the wrecks. Well, there's an elevator to go up. You can cheat. So I broke down and took off my coat because I was just dying. <laughs> it's pretty warm. This is the Vasa's crew of 445 men. 445 guys. One admiral, one captain, two lieutenants, one master, 20 gunners, 90 seamen who handled the sails, quartermaster stewards, marines, 150 marines, carpenters, boys, four boys. Wow. Battle. Is it the cannon? Different type of cannonball. Oh, one chain. A grape shot, I think that was called. No, maybe not. Chain shot. That's a scissor shot, a spike shot, and a round shot. All right, we're up high now and looking down on the main deck. They've also got some recreations. This is what the front looked like. The bow had this giant lion on the front with the crown seal. Here's some more of the carvings that were on the sides. So this one, for example, was up at that part of the ship, at the top right. And then this is one of the men that we saw that would have been right there on the ship. <laughs> this guy looks like he's in the brig. Oh, this is supposed to be a Polish nobleman and this is like a caricature of a Polish nobleman trapped in a bench or something like that. The Swedes and the Poles back in those days had a few battles. It's the riggings. Pretty, pretty impressive. Right, let's keep making our way around. Oh wow, this can go even higher. Okay, let's keep going up. It 
It's not really that dark, it's just the camera. <laughs> Here we see the seal. gift shop. <laughs> diver. <laughs> the boss of divers. Toy cabin. That's kind of cool. Dishes, pencils, postcards. Pigments. Trays. Oh, there's a model, a Ravel model. I used to be those when I was a kid. Sold out. Oh. All right. Let's go out in the park. So one thing I didn't figure out until I just came out here is I went through three doors to get in there. And while I was in there, I was like, I had to take my coat off. I had to take my second coat off. And I was like, why? What? Then I realized, oh, the humidity levels in there. It's kept at a high level of humidity to protect the wood in the ship as it's you know been underwater for 300 years. So basically in there, it's kind of like, well, it's kind of like going into the jungle room of a garden or something. It's uh, it's pretty darn humid and warm. Now I'm back outside and it's cooler and it's getting clearer. It's kind of beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's go down to the water's edge, yeah? There's a bunch of ships around here. I'm going to take a look at those. Was pretty impressive you know i didn't think it was going to be that cool but i don't know i like ships too let's uh let's just go down here see where this path goes this reminds me a little bit like oslo oslo has a an island right in the downtown area on the water there's lots of ships and everything That's the royal palace over that side. It's actually bright. For the first time this trip, it's actually bright out. Helicopter coming. There's a lighthouse ship and some other historic ships down here. They have a hop on hop off boat. The Viking Museum, the Spirit Museum. 
Nothing is so shiny to you. There's a ferry coming in. The National Maritime Museum, free admission. That lighthouse ship, and I think there's like a patrol boat out here. Yeah, there's a PT boat. Just go out here. Yeah, there's a couple of naval vessels out here. Cool. Motor torpedo boat. Minesweeper. M20. And some other patrol boat. <laughs> I hear kids screaming over there. Oh, I know, there's a helicopters because the football game. <laughs> Patrol boat Sprangarin. Coastal patrol boat. HMS Sprang was built in 1917. It was privately funded because the government didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> There's the people screaming over there at the circus. It's a bunch of roller coasters and whatnot. Oh, that guy fell. It's kind of a small vessel. You know, where else should we go? Wander around this island? We should get some food. But I think we should go down to the restaurant area. Some buskers down here, some bicycles and whatnot. I gotta go in in a diving bell costume suit. Something like that.
It's an old compressor. Made in London. Looks like he just came out. What a hassle. <laughs> so they're digging him out. The history of diving. Free admission. That's nice. The Viking Museum. Another Ferris wheel going up and a drop of death kind of thing. Always going into the barn. This is a trolley car barn. That was an old trolley going in for the night. So this must be the end of the subway line or the city street tram line. There's some more modern trams in there. Nifty. That's the circus down there, the carnival. It's like this whole island is all about like leisure. It's kind of like the National Mall filled with museums and stuff. Okay, so we had to switch to our backup DJI Osmo Pocket because the original Pocket has just died. <laughs> it only has about an 80 minute battery lifespan. Well, I guess I've been out for a while. Good picture. 
بعدا کسی اونی که مثلا اگر اینجنو Let's make our way over this direction. We should get a scooter. I'll keep walking for a while. Smells like waffles, ice cream cones. Oh, that's a trail. It's going to the train station downtown. It's not that far a walk though. I think we can just walk it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's an old one. Hmm, we gotta get back and get some food. I still don't know what we're gonna eat. I actually have some work to do once I get back, but uh, for right now. Just... Oh, there's that museum again, the Nords Museum. Alright. I 
It's quite a pretty building. Come on, camera. There we go. The camera was doing stupid stuff. Paris of the North. Fashion industry in Sweden, I guess. Hmm. There we got the camera back. Oh, we got to take a picture of this. Very pretty. Let's uh, let's walk back into the downtown area over there. A lot more restaurants over there. We can find some lunch, find some more people. Oh, well, it's pretty crowded out here. Hmm. We do have a hop on hop off bus with all the tourist bits. Could do that. Oh, the ABBA Museum was there. I missed the ABBA Museum. Oh, well. Wow. I was going to go to the ABBA Museum, but just ah, no time today. Got some work to do. So that's the palace over there. Oh, that building that's being renovated as like a cathedral. Over by what's going on? Mm -hmm. There. Over on that side. Okay, we're back. Just had a phone call from the kids. And they just woke up. They want breakfast. I'm like, guys, I'm in Sweden and you're in America. You can have your own breakfast. <laughs> we're about six hours ahead of the USA. So what time is there? Seven, eight o'clock in the US right now. Mm. Lots of private vessels over here. Yeah. 
Das ist irgendwas. They're still around. Pretty fast right away. Let's see if we can get over this center. I like these walkways down the middle of the street. Okay, let's keep making our way this way. Find some food. I have a go-to hamburger place I can go to if I can't find anything else I feel like today. Let's go back to the water. Just because. There's food. <laughs> so that was the museum island over there.
Let's make our way down. Well, I know I'm not. I'm going to end up in that park. I'm actually very close to my hamburger place. <laughs> priorities, priorities. Radisson Hotel over there. I think there's a lot of hotels down here. I think there's a Sheridan, a few other big ones. Someone was asking me yesterday if I get lost. And well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, do I know exactly to the square foot where I am right now? No. Do I have a general idea that I'm going where I want to be? Yeah, I recognize a few things. Like there's that cathedral we saw earlier in our hike from the other side. So we've looped around that. And I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going to end up. And if I'm not there, well, then we'll just, we'll just deal with it, you know. Just deal with it. I think there's a barracks down here, somewhere around here, where the uh, changing of the guard troops are based. Oh, these are all ferries to the islands. And just the hop-on, hop-off ferry for touristing stuff. The tram is faster than the bus. One thing that's annoying is that American credit cards, you have to sign for everything. Um, just because something about our chip system, the way our chip and pin works, uh, we have to sign for all our cards. Whereas everybody else, they just tap or they tap and they input a pin number or something. That's a theater. I think if I follow this tram line, it's going to bring me back down towards the train station, the central area. We'll just do that. It looks pretty good in there.
Chinese restaurant or something over there. Let's just wander about. Okay, I officially know where I am now. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea, but now I know where I am. I know there's a burger joint up to the right. I can go get a burger. This is kind of like their 7-Eleven. There's lots of yummy stuff. Lots of sweets. In Sweden, they, they instituted a policy, or just sort of a cultural thing. Sweets on Sunday, or sweets on Saturday, to try to cut back on the sugar consumption. They kind of made it like the weekend was the day when you would have candy and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know if they'd still do that, but uh, that was sort of their policy. Sweets on Saturday, sweets on Sunday or something like that. And uh, it did. It actually worked. People have like limited themselves to the pick and mix. This is a Max. This is that... Uh, fast food place where you order on the touch screen and it comes to you later. Let's go over this way and then we want to go up that way but we'll figure out which light goes first. This one. I am thinking about ice cream. He's in a hurry. Of course we are jaywalking. There's this burger joint here, Barrels Burgers. I haven't tried them yet. Let me give them a try. I can go to my standby Flippin' Burgers, which is a pretty decent place. This, I don't know what this is. I think this is a new electric car, the Polestar 2. Which is like, I don't know, is it like a Swedish electric car or something like that? I've never heard of it. It looks pretty cool though. So, burger joint. I'll go to my standby place. It's up here. It's three o'clock, so it shouldn't be that crowded.
Look at this. You guys ask me, are there a lot of Swedish girls around, like blonde, blue-eyed girls? And they're, yeah, they're pretty much everywhere. <laughs> pretty much everywhere. How much? I don't notice. There we go, flipping burgers. We'll go back here. Why don't I notice? Because I'm married. And because they're everywhere. <laughs> One or the other, or both. Come on. Be a good guy. Hello, wait here. <sighs> okay, burger is finished. And we're gonna wander over here for a bit. Look at these things hanging across the street. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's just ribbons. It's not like it's lit up or anything. Maybe it is lit up at night. I actually have to get back to the hotel. I've got some work to do. And I've got a dinner. Now that I just had lunch, I've got a dinner in about three hours. <laughs> oh well. And tonight's dinner is like some real posh place. I don't know if you guys can see the ribbons because I can't really see them in the monitor. When I turn around, there they are. Yeah. Keep moseying up this way. Hmm. So there's some sort of. What's this building? School? Government building? Oof. This, however, is not the way to my hotel. I just came up here because I thought the street looked kind of cool. I'm going to have to dog leg back. Maybe I just get a scooter. Ah, it's close enough to walk. Hey, an Ikea. They do exist. I think it was in here. There was a big shopping mall nearby. That's behind me, I think. Yeah. shop. Okay. Um, I don't know where I need to be. I just walked up a hill, and I know I have to walk down a hill. And let's go over this bridge. I think this bridge is actually on the road that I need to be on. I actually need to be down there. <laughs> Oops. Slightly wrong turn, but we'll go down there <coughs> and make our way back towards our hotel. That's why there's no people up here. Asian Post Office. That's kind of a weird name.
This is what that street used to look like many decades ago. There we go. <laughs> Another burger restaurant. Oh, concept. That's a Danish store, I think. The Danish IKEA. Slightly higher up. Mm. <laughs> this looks like a Best Buy. Lots of gadgets. <clears throat> suitcase shop. You do need a new suitcase. But it's it's funny because every time I go out to buy a new suitcase I look at the one I currently have which is beaten and beat to heck but it still works and I'm just like well it still works. I've used this suitcase for like 20 years and it's reliable. <laughs> you know I like buying stuff that lasts 20 years. That just makes me happy paid 200 and some dollars for a Samsonite bag 20 some years ago. I actually bought two of them. Or did I buy four? I think the smaller ones broke because they were like beat up a lot. You know, the two bigger ones, they don't travel as much and they're okay. That's kind of interesting. I wonder what happened to the smaller ones. I remember one exploded in Hong Kong because I had filled it with coins. <laughs> I had almost, I don't know, like thousand US dollars worth of Hong Kong coins because I hate coins and I just throw them in a bucket and then one day they had like the coin counting machine came out and they were asking people to bring their coins and it was so heavy I put it in my suitcase and by the time I got to the coin counting machine the wheels had broken off the suitcase had cracked <laughs> it was just it was like many many pounds of coins the guy looked at me and he's like, where have you been keeping all these things? And I was like, in a giant bucket. <laughs> it was cool though, they had this really high speed, super fast counting machine. And it counted like, counted like a thousand US dollars in, I don't know, like two minutes. Just Okay. My hotel is right back this way. Okay, we're back at the park with the thing I think is a library. <laughs> and we're going to make our way back to our hotel. So guys, it's going to take a while to upload this video. Yeah, the uh, Wi-Fi in my hotel is really slow. I mean, a 10-minute video yesterday took an hour and a half. This could take all night, but we'll get it up line. We'll show you more of Sweden this week. Thanks for watching my hike. I'm going to go back to work now. Bye-bye. <laughs>